Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't think there's any doubt he's one of the best around, Peter. Probably one of the best ever. He's an incredible physical specimen and a phenomenal goal scorer. You can't question his commitment and determination either. He's always in peak condition and he'll adapt his game to whatever role is requested of him. I think he's going to have a huge, huge impact on this team. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. He's got and the shot! And the keeper barely had to move. That's just literally playing into his hands. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And here's Lewandowski. Danger averted for now. And it's been taken straight back. Vieira. Alexander Arnold. That is terrific skill. Vieira. Lampard. He's had a look, it's one! There it is! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Boateng goes looking. Zico. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Finds himself eased off the ball. And it's Lewandowski. Messi drives it forward. And the first half is done. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but then it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. And we are underway again. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see.
Zico. Zico! Tries to get it forward quickly. River Plate making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Messi. Floats one over. Now it's Lewandowski. It's Lewandowski! Again, let me mention what a... Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Zico. Zico! Oh, that's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Your impression so far, Jim? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. He's found his man. And this has gone, presumably, for offside. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Jerome Boateng. Lampard. Robertson. Rivaldo. Alexander Arnold. And he's going long. Kent has got rid of that. Oh, real danger here. Time to take that on his chest and get the shot away. That was slack defending. for a change in personnel two up and very little time left surely this is it well that's a really bitter blow i think it's going to be very hard for them to find the character to respond from that looking cross field changing the point of attack Bento perez Perez, lovely bit of skill. And there goes the final whistle. A decent win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side. 
and the result reflects as much. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.